Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick comparison between some fog lights. We have my Diodynamic SS3s. These are an SAE in amber. And on this side we have the Amazon Special 5 Stars Z Off-Road I think is the brand. Amazon Special Fog Lights. Uh, the glare is kind of getting on there but these are also on in the amber I wanted to wait to make this video because I was talking to diode for a little bit because I wanted to get this one replaced or at least fixed and uh, basically that ended up being a week long conversation about some stuff that ended up with me telling them that I bought it secondhand from a friend even though it's well within its warranty period they said since I bought it secondhand that I have to get a new one if I wanted to get my fog light fixed. So instead of buying another fog light, I bought the super cheap one for 60 bucks off of Amazon. So that's the backstory. So starting off the video, there is some clear, clear differences. This whole housing is all metal. The whole housing on this end is plastic. I don't know what kind of plastic it is, but it's all plastic. There's definitely some quality differences. This is 280 bucks for a pair. These are $60 for a pair. And you can definitely tell you get what you pay for. Aside from the housing, there is some clear design differences. These are your average four pod Baja style. I think they're the people that started it. So I'm gonna say Baja style just cause they look like them. Baja style fog lights. These are more OEM looking but they do have a black housing. So they kind of match my headlights now, which is kind of nice. I kind of like the way this looks. Just because I see these everywhere, it's kind of refreshing to see something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so both of these fog lights come already with the connectors. They're just plug and play, plug them in and go. They're already pretty set up for you. So before we go out and I show you guys some comparisons in the dark. I just want to tell you guys that these fog lights, I don't know how many people know this, but they're all adjustable. So even these ones are adjustable. There's little Allen wrenches on the side that you can adjust how high up and how high down you can get them. I saw on Amazon, some people are saying that these suck because the throw is only about three feet in front of the truck. But what they probably aren't doing is taking a screwdriver and adjusting it. So you do have to put these on and then reach under and adjust them. Or you can take them off. What I did, because I have viper cuts, I just put them on and I just got a screwdriver and adjusted it that way. So if you're going to buy these or even these, just make sure you adjust them afterwards. If they're not giving you the kind of light you think they're supposed to be giving you, it's probably because they're not adjusted. So with that said, let's go into the dark and I'll show you guys some comparisons between the two. So I have my state of the art fog light blocking kit. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna block one fog light off, show you guys what one side looks like, block the other side off, show you guys what the other side looks like. And that's how we're gonna run this comparison. Oh, I'm also gonna stop the ISO from being auto because I usually shoot an auto ISO but we're gonna keep it to one ISO just so it looks the same all the way through and through. So this is just about as dark as I can get it we're right up against a highway so it could be pretty loud. Uh, we're gonna stick this to at 10,000 ISO I think that's what it's at and I'll show you guys the difference. Um, this side is going to be the diodynamic and on this side it's gonna be the Z off road fog lights. So we're gonna start off by covering the Z off road ones and then we're gonna switch around. I'm gonna cover the Z off road ones right now. So this is what you're gonna get out of the SS3 fog lights. Uh, it's definitely a warmer orange color. Z off road, I'll show you guys in a little bit. They're more yellow. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then we'll switch over to the Z off roads. I don't know if you can tell. So the Z off-road ones are definitely more just centered. 
they're a little bit brighter downways. Um, the diodynamics spread a little bit more. They'll cover a lot more ground. Um, definitely more yellow on this side than the diodynamic ones. You can kind of tell there. I have it open now. So this side is a Z off-road yellowish and on this side over here that is the diodynamic. So you can see that here with the Z off-road ones they're definitely brighter downrange and then the Z off-road ones just fill a little bit more. So let's cover up the Z off-roads again. This right here is just the diodes. And you can see that it does cover a lot more. And then when we open up the Z off-roads, this is the diodes. This is with the Z off-roads on. Actually, the Z off-roads are pretty, pretty freaking bright. So after going out there and comparing the two, there's some key differences. I, it mostly comes down to the lens because these SAE Diodynamic 3s function more like how a fog light should. Low, very wide beam, not as strong. These ones have a very strong beam and they don't bleed out as much just because of the lens. So these are made to disperse light. This is just made to just shoot light out. Um, these ones are definitely more bright centered. These ones are definitely still bright, but it's more wide range. It just kind of depends on what you want out of your fog light. I usually just run these as, um, I run my fog lights more as DRLs. You're not supposed to, but I do. So I have them on all the time but off-road you definitely want them wider um, spreading more light is what I mean by wider so these will definitely give you what a fog light should do or should work like these are they work as fog lights but they're definitely not as widespread as they should be and that's most likely due to just the lens itself. Also, these ones will produce a much more warmer color, while these are pretty much just a straight yellow. Um, what I found was the yellow from this is a lot more contrasty when looking at obstacles down the way. That's why I didn't pick a straight up just flat round thing, ground foreground. Just because I wanted to show some shadows and then show what it would look like bouncing off some rocks and stuff. So with these, I could definitely see rocks a lot more clearer. With these, I can't. The reason why I like these two is it feels a lot more light. So in the corners, if I don't have my ditches on, these help a lot because I can see a lot more to the right and to the left when I have these on. I haven't had both of them on of these yet, but they'll function as a fog light but not as well as they should they're not going to fill the side light as much as i would like them to so with the z off-road fog lights i could definitely see this being an issue off-road i haven't taken them off-road yet but could definitely be an issue if you don't have these adjusted and they're too high so if these if you have them adjusted high these are bright enough to where if you're tailing someone in the dust, these are probably going to blind you. Um, so it's definitely, if you're going to opt for these, definitely adjust them to the right height. You want them low and shooting as much light as low as possible. You don't want them pointed upwards, blinding you. That's why I don't run the rooftop uh, light bar when we're out. If I'm in the back of the group, obviously I don't want to blind anyone. but it also makes it really hard to see in the dust line. These ones look fine. I've been running these off-road and chasing people all the time. These don't cause any issues at all just because they're very widespread, but they're also angled pretty well enough to not blind me. So in conclusion, expensive versus cheap. Definitely if you want a fog light that works like a fog light, get something like these 
these actually work how fog lights should work really low light really wide beam these are not as fog lighty as they should be they're definitely more of a concentrated beam just because of the lens um, wouldn't knock you for having these though I would definitely buy these again if I didn't really care about my beam pattern but I'm definitely gonna try and figure out how to fix these if I can't fix them I'll probably cop another pair of these or Bajas or Heretics or something somewhere down the line but I'm gonna rock these for now while I can cheap versus expensive if you have the budget go for these if you don't have the budget these are fine just know that these are more of a straight beam pattern these are more of a fog light pattern these are plastic these are metal plastic go break break metal doesn't break as easily <laughs> so if you have just about 300 bucks to spend on fog lights definitely go for these first these shouldn't poop out on you I'm not sure what went wrong on these these ones I can't tell you how long they're gonna last they have plastic housing and they have a weird beam pattern that's straight that shouldn't be what your fog lights look like but like I said earlier if you like the styling of it if you want yellow lights like every other Toyota on the road these are fine they just don't function as well as fog lights should and these do so definitely if you have the money go for some better Bajas diodes or KC make some Heretics any of those brands their fog lights are gonna work like fog lights should and Amazon special fog lights will Amazon special so if you guys have any comments or questions about these fog lights leave them down below I'll respond back as fast as I can uh, if you guys like the content make sure to hit that like button it always helps out and if you guys want to see more of this stuff more of the rig a lot more of the rig make sure to hit that subscription button I'll see you guys in the next one peace